ho, ho, ho. I just got this cutie pie out of the kiln. Isn't it cute? And of course, I filmed the kiln opening. Uh, my kiln is over there. You can see the lid. And this is my little makeshift shed around the kiln. And uh, I set up the camera over there and film. That's how I did the last few kiln openings anyway. So um, I'm just referring to that because somebody asked me about where my kiln sits. And it's not out in the open. It's well protected, but it is outside. It's just a shed, a mini shed under a roof. So the kiln is fine. And uh, this guy is going to go in my garden. And I will show you the kiln opening that I have just filmed. And I have a little tidbit about Bonaire and the little neighborhood I live in. So uh, enjoy! Here we are! Oh, always so exciting and always lots of... Well, I showed you that last time. These are part of that same... Um, <laughs> wind chime that is coming up. That was Blue Monday, by the way. <coughs> Excuse me, let's take these out. I have more of these simple mosaic tiles. Oh, that's a different one. I won't bother you with taking them all out from all the other layers, but you know, this is just a uh, slip and these are glazed. Well, the slip is also glazed, but a clear glaze, of course. This is another little text balloon dish. This is the regular oatmeal by Emiko and it always does that for me. It always crawls. It's not the dust. It's the only one of my glazes that does that. Um, I think I need to put it on thinner. Oh. <laughs> it always becomes such a... becomes yogurt in the, in the jar. And I try to thin it out with water, but that doesn't seem to work. So I need to figure out something. There is another succulent planter dog dirt to me this is the soft red yeah it's a runner and i like the way that looks very nice another one i believe in you i'm going to buy some small succulents and put them on the table at the Christmas market. This is the Scandinavian blue. Let's take out this shelf. Another. <laughs> Another balloon dish. That you smile today. Oh, that's funny. It's, it has black slip in it. And the soft red turns a little bit white on the slip. Interesting. And this is a little order for a lady here on Bonaire. She ha already has two mugs with the sea ray. This is, of course, the scrofito with my black slip. She wanted two dishes to go with them. Some more um, mosaic tiles. Let's take these out first. Oh, they're still a bit warm. This is the head, or the head, well, the top of that wind chime. Little octopusy. 
in the blue Monday I will um, assemble it with the stars and the fishes and take a picture or a video and show you at the end of this video okay he's cute oh looks like he's crying a little bit <laughs> and here's Santa I saw a picture on Pinterest of somebody who I don't know knitted or crocheted Santa's and I like that pattern so I thought you know I can carve that through my red slip sort of a knitted pattern on his hat ho 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 cute 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 one more ring holder this time I did two times pearl white and three times uh, Rooty blue. And another small succulent pot. Another talk dear to me. And this is also the Blue Monday by Opulence. It's a dipping glaze. Oh, where are you? Over there. Oh. Look at that. I'm going to have to look this up. Um, hold on. Let me start somewhere else. There. This. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Hold on again. Just a sec. Let me show you why I did that. I think I've shown you one. That was my first one. A while ago, this is a little spice jar with a little wooden spoon. This one, oh yeah, it fits okay. And this is, I am sure that it is pearl white. Whoops! <laughs> this is pearl white with one of the jungle gems, and look how that runs exactly to the bottom i was very very lucky because i did not have room for a cookie the top uh, part was i had a little less than a centimeter left three eighths of an inch left <laughs> so yeah like that so that's that one and then i made some oh lucky again uh Ramekins to go with them. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I got one little pinhole. Oh, well. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. So I have more of these. And these are the ramekins. This is the pearl white as well. With another jungle gem. I will have to look it up and I'll edit it in on the screen. Very pretty. And another one. This is the curry with the with the jungle jam on top. That goes with the spice jar from the last kiln opening. And there is another shelf full with um, mosaic tiles. This is a new one you haven't seen yet. And this one as well. This is a stamp I made, I think, from some sort of button. Um, this is done with a cookie cutter and some slip trailing. And this is just cut out. Take this out. More spice jars. I dripped some in there. <laughs> this is the Scandinavian blue with one of the jungle gems on top.
And of course, I have a little ramekin to go with it if someone wants it. Cute. And another one. Look, I dipped it, but I already had the inside dipped. So some of the Blue Monday um, went over the clear glaze on the inside. I guess that's a sign of handmade. That Blue Monday is always pretty. Ooh, that's not so pretty. Look at that. That has crawled. Doesn't happen to me that often. This is, I remember it was just too thick. And I like the effect on the inside, you can see it. Because I forgot that I had already put clear glaze on the inside. And then I took my glaze tongs and dipped it in the Blue Monday and then it started flaking. It was way too thick. And I thought I'd take a chance. Mm, didn't work out. Oh well, it happens. There is another succulent planter I soiled myself <laughs> with nori green. Let's catch the light a little bit so you can see. I will take picture. And of course, a, cute, a few cute, just little angels, white clay, stoneware, white, uh, clear glaze, I'm sorry. That's it. And this one has a little bit of, um, there's a hard applique and I put some jungle gems on there and you can see how it um, ran down. It forms sort of kind of a drip here. I kind of like it. Then there is Santa's. <laughs> Small Santa's with a wire. So we can hang them. This one. This is, um, this is a slip. And this is raspberry mist. A glaze. This is slip. And this is also slip. So there are little variations in the reds that I've used. And some more with a sort of knitted pattern. Very nice. And then one more tulip. This is a, another with curry. This one didn't make the kiln last time. And I am working on a video on how I make these. So stay tuned for that. This will go on a stick. And I'll show you a picture of this one with its brothers at the end of the video as well. And then there's more. Um, Mosaic tiles, and that's it. And the cones, they look good. This is a sprig. I made a sprig from a real shell. Fired that, and then after it's bisked, I pushed the clay in. They do get a little thicker, but that's fine. These are slip. And this is, again, that oatmeal that crawls. So anybody of you have a solution for that? I would be very happy to hear that. So that's it, people. Uh, well, let's show you the cones. This is a five. And the six is all the way down. So it's a hot cone six, which I am very happy with. Well, there it is, the result of this kiln. Ah, I'll be stringing 
the Santas, the angels, and assembling this one. And I'll take pictures of everything. So that will be next. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I almost always respond. And if you like the video, like the video. Uh, I'll get to uh, work on this and the tulips. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hey you guys, it is 10 past, 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 <laughs> 6 uh, p.m. <laughs> I'm going to go to the left because there's a car coming. Yep. And hubby is working on my car. Uh, I had a little problem with the muffler. I think I've told you before, I have this gorgeous pink Suzuki. She's my darling. Uh, she just has a little identity crisis. She thinks she's a Ford Bronco and makes those sounds. So he is trying to fix that at the moment. But as it is almost the weekend, we thought we'd have a beer. I usually then take the car and drive to the closest, what we call here on Bonaire, snack, to grab a beer. Uh, as he is working on the car, I'm walking. So I thought I'd take you with me through the neighborhood. I'm going to have to go to the left again. So there you have it. This neighborhood is called North Salinha in uh, on Bonaire. Uh, we have two. Well, what's that called? Cities. Oh, 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 oh! Hush your your small little mouth, honey. Oh, there's another one. Uh, two towns, I guess you would call them: Kravendijk and Rincon. Rincon used to be the capital, it's not anymore, after uh, har the harbor was situated at Kralendijk that grew and grew and grew and so Kralendijk is now our main capital and Noordsalinje is part of that main town. <coughs> Excuse me, I hear another car coming, hold on. Yeah, there it is, and I'm going... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Hi. Uh, uh, I'm going to the right here. That's why I was waiting. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. Uh, that honking, that is normal here. People say hi to each other by honking their horn. And up there, I'm, whew, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so, I'm, yeah, I'm walking 
to our local snack bar. Snack bar. Is that a, is that an English word? I think it's a Dutch word. It's not a pub. Uh, like I know a pub in you know England or wherever the Netherlands. It's it's something different. Many of them are ruled by Chinese Bonarians. Uh, ruled? <laughs> that sounds funny. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's it's a spot where you can get food and beer, and if you're lucky, there is a table and a chair to sit down at. But most of these little snacks have a few stools to sit at, and that's it. You can see how busy it is. <laughs> All those people are either waiting for their food or sitting there and having a beer. I'm not going to film everybody. But um, there's the entrance. Yeah, it's gated. Uh, since just, I don't know, a month. Before that it wasn't. I don't know why they did that. They must have had their reasons. So I'm going to say hello to everybody and then I'm going to buy us a beer. Bonacci! Hey Francisco! Here we go. I shut you down right now. You know, privacy of other people. And uh, I'll see you when I get back home.